Water Week here on PTL continues as Doug shows us the right way to water our plants. Hey, Doug. Hey. We haven't had to water much. Real quick, congratulations, Heather and Frankie. Aww. That's so I know. awesome. We're all happy about it's so that. so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Baby at 801 and texting at 901. <laughs> She's amazing. So, yes, w w watering, uh, there, there's the right way and a wrong way to do it. Yeah. Who yeah. knew? You know, you, you, well, we don't know I the right it. way because we don't do it so well. But Doug's going to tell us. <laughs> In the morning is the best time to do this because okay. you want the foliage to dry out. Uh, a lot of plants mm -hmm. will get fungal issues if water stays on the leaves. Uh, a lot of people say, well, what if I water at night mm -hmm. and then we won't lose any to evaporation? That's the problem because oh. a tomato or beans or phlox or all sorts of other plants, if that water stays on there all night long, you're promoting fungal diseases. And so oh. early in the morning and the other thing is really soak them in. You okay. don't want to just mm -hmm. spritz them. Like if you were to go out once a day and just do a little spritz, the roots are gonna, gonna know it. They're gonna be just right at the top. Like, I'm waiting for my next oh. spritz. If you soak them in, those roots are going down we'll deep. Down and when deep. things do get tough, and they will in July and August, those roots can bring up what needs to, to be reserves. brought to the plant. Right, right. Wow. And I've heard before, if you water in like the middle of the day, you can actually burn some plants. Yeah, Is that true yeah. or if, not if, true? If, those, uh, if the water's on the leave, yeah, you can have some, some issues that way. Okay, you know, so but in the morning. Th the thing is, not everybody can do it in the morning. Right. So watering is better than not watering, you know. You okay. can see from these plants here, water is an important part of Well, I was going to say, these don't like look as good as with the normal ones you bring back. And you have this at home, Natalie? This is my situation, people. <laughs> and I, have a, I have a friend, uh, Frank Peasy, at the zoo who runs the horticulture department there, and he says for his containers, you've got 10 indicators to tell you if the uh, containers need to be watered, sticking your finger in. And one of the hazards hmm. of being a PTL host okay. is you might have to stick that oh, yes. well, right into that and tell me if it needs water or not. Okay. All right. We can do that. All right. Okay. And ruin your nails. Fine. No, I think this is okay. This one feels okay to me. It is. We're trying to bring it okay, back. We, we're <laughs> high five. The test. Yes. yes. We're so good at this. We're trying okay. to bring it back. Now you can have your nails done later on in no the day. No problem. <laughs> For a good cause. Uh, and, and so all your plants need is one inch of water a week, no matter how hot it gets. So you do that once a week, early in the morning watering. That includes your lawns, your flowers. Uh, your vegetables, anything like that. So don't overwater also, mm -hmm. you know. And a lot of times with containers is, is the, the problem you can overwater. And mulch is our friend. Oh, yeah, you've got to mulch. When you mulch, the, the plants will stay evenly moist. The soil will stay evenly okay. moist. And that's important. Hmm. And you will preserve any moisture that you've put on there uh, as opposed to with, without mulch, it's just going to dry off there. And so like in the vegetable garden, I'm using straw. In the uh, ornamental garden, I'm using bark mulch. But as far as what mulch you want, it's just how it looks to you. Right. You know, okay. you don't. Oh. Y as long as it looks good to you, good to good go. Good to go. We're in good shape. Wow. Always good advice. Watch Monday too, because Doug is going to be back with us live from Bedner's Farm. He will show us foolproof landscape and get that, Natalie, and <laughs> growing tips for beginner gardeners. So some really helpful advice. Mm -hmm. for, so watch for that coming up Monday on PTL. And thanks as always. Thank you. For being